you're the worst student ever. Huh? Well, if you want to go to Great Wolf Lodge, you're going to have to start earning and saving. Make this be a lesson to you all. Start saving up your hundreds of it so you can have fun at Great Wolf Lodge. Okay team, we're gonna go out there and on that field, have a good game. Welcome to Harbor Yards, a brand new baseball stadium, a place to do st sports stuff. This stadium costs the Harbor taxpayers around 500 million, but we can't have our boys playing on dirt, right? Stay tuned and we'll be show you this morning show is a home run. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. You may stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for your school news. Straight from the pitcher stump, Michael Jordan Emerson is making beef and cheese nachos for all our players desperate to make it under the par. We're hoping Tiger Woods joins our team just for his nachos. Our Cooking Night production of Ghost Light is on our YouTube channel. Watch it before I demand it be taken down. Outdoor Club will climb a climbing tower at Camp Pootock Wednesday, February 28th, 3.15 to 6.30. Cost $14 in admission fee and snacks. Also open to club members and guests. Please contact Mr. Nykirk for details and permission slips. Horror reads in a newspaper or host in a poetry slam this Friday. It will be held from 10.45 to 1 to 11.30 in the Harbor Drone Theater. It'll cost 10, 10 Harbor dollars to attend. Sign-ups are now closed. Sorry, we told you. Now here's your weather for today. Brought to you by Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. The new power couple of baseball. Good job! I'm telling you, man. I can't make the deal or less than $20 billion. Sorry, I was just on the phone with Beyonce. She wanted to trade Jay-Z to my team, but I won't take him for anything less than $50 billion. Today will be sunny with a 7 chance of rain. Beyonce just texted me. Oh crap. Uh, she wants Jay-Z to have a hobby. He won't leave the house. Queen Bay B Baseball is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Temperatures will be similar to yesterday with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 31. Oh, incoming. Gotta take this. Jay-Z's calling. Uh, he wants to pay me 100 billion not to be on the team. Maybe we can put the money towards the stadium or something, I don't know. It's left the city deep in debt, just like college tuition students. That's all for your weather report, now here's some entertainment news. Hi, I'm, my name is Matthew Williams. Today for my entertainment news, I want to talk about the movie called M M Migration. I like this movie because they they, they try to be, become friends, and particularly when, when they try to particularly when, when they pretend to be on, on the airport. But, uh, but also the mission is to try to, to rescue all, all the birds that, 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 that are being trapped from, from this, this cage. And, and yeah, and I, I, in my opinion, I, I, I would rate it like probably like an 8, eight out of 10. We, and it, it, it's available in, 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 in theaters. Well, that, that is all for your entertainment news. Now, here's your fact of the day. And cut. Do you know that the New, New York Giants has a lucky cat in 1960 and a straight run into the field during a New York Giant team? Pitcher Luke Benton took the cat to safety in the donut. And it soon became the official Met cat of the cat named Scully and was thought to be bring good luck to serve years at the Taiwan the National Lincoln 
peanut of the year I found them and cut. Really? Yeah. Wow. Why is Spider-Man such a good baseball player? Why? He knows how to catch <laughs> flies. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. How's it going, Riley? Um, it's going pretty good. It's going all right. How's it going for you guys? Pretty Fair. fine. Good here. Thank you for coming on our show today. We appreciate it. Um, so it's, it's my pleasure, you know. I, I don't know. That sounded bad. It didn't sound bad. I'm just questioning everything. Today our topic is fur babies or your favorite animals. Riley, would you like to go first since you're our guest? Um, sure. Um, so I have it's a lot of fur in my house. If you're allergic to fur, stay far away. Um, because we have three dogs and six cats. So um, one of those cats is who I'd most like to talk about today. My little baby, Nimona, or Momo as I call her. Um, she's a little calico baby, very floofy. Um, and she's quite mischievous, but you know, I don't, I don't mind because she's she's too cute. Um, she gets up to a lot of antics. Well, I have a pet golden retriever named Barkley. At five o'clock, I always feed him dinner, and for his drink, I fill him up water. Does he like to play? Of course he does. If he has some free time already. What about you, Mia? My two. I have two fur babies in my house. I have an Australian Shepherd, and I have two Australian Shepherds, a girl and a boy. The girl is very mischievous, she likes to chew on my socks a lot like your cat. Our cats are animals in your house. She likes to chew on my socks, she almost tried to chew on my new sweater this morning, I got very angry. <laughs> and my other, my boy dog acts like an old man, he acts like, Ugh. How many more steps do I have to take until I get down the stairs? Where my other one will just be leaping and jumping all around the place like a crazy lady. Wow, that's very interesting. I mean, I'm all full of pets right now, but I feel like if I ever had like room for more pets, some like, kind of cat that I'd really want. Um, uh, is it like a Norwegian forest cat or something? It's some kind of like forest cat. It's called a forest cat. And they're like really big and super fluffy and I'm like so obsessed. I so really like, um, I really like Harold's cats. They're funny looking, but they're very high maintenance. Um, you know, you, there's a big price to pay for a raw chicken goblin, you know? Okay. Is there any pet like you would want if you could have it? Mm, not really. Happy with what you have, I respect that. I've always wanted a hamster, but I hate like the squeaky thing that goes It's like, in my bed, I feel like I'd be like, how the heck do I shut this thing up? <laughs> I would move a hamster <laughs> if I wasn't broke. Yeah, they're always like with small animals. Um, they're, all, yeah, they're always like drinking from their water bottles at like three in the morning and like the water, the little ball that keeps watering is going like click, 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 click. But I think I figured out why they're always drinking at night. It's totally not because they're like nocturnal or whatever. It's not because of that at all. It's because water tastes best at night. Like when you get up and you like really have to get a drink and you like just slurp from the sink, that's like the most refreshing water you'll ever taste. So I think it's just the forbidden night water that they're after. It's not because of anything like real and scientific, it's just, it's the forbidden night water, you know? Hmm. So you're saying that they don't like water in the morning, they'd rather drink it in the evening? Yeah, they're after the, the, the tasty night water. Good. Does your golden retriever like to play fetch with a ball? Someday he does, but, but sometimes my dad always likes to take him out to, uh, also go to the bathroom in case he needs to. And yeah, he's about four and a half years old, and he was born in June. So I hear you guys kind of disagree on the show. Anything you disagree on with animals? Excuse me, we disagree. Right. On least the favorite, show. least favorite house animal. Go. Really? Now we're going back to last week where we were all disagreeing on well, that's the kind of like the musicals. Of the show. Now we're all disagreeing on the animals. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll say it. Um. 
Maybe I'll... I was gonna say something. I was trying to think of something controversial to say, but I can't think of it. Stop naming your dogs Cooper. Stop it. And stop naming your dogs Luna. There's too many. There's too many. That's my... That's my hot take. That's your take. Okay, I think way too many people name their dogs people names. They're for people. Stop calling your dogs Cooper or Tucker or Sarah or Grace. Those are people's names. Mara. Cooper's kind of a dog name though at this point. Cooper's like become <laughs> a dog more. name. When I meet a person named Cooper, I think about a dog. And you know, I don't even have a least favorite dog I hate, but they all seem the best and I love all of them. I, I do agree with that. I can I can get behind that. Okay. I love cats, I love dogs, but the one animal that I like hate that you can't have as a pet, I hate giraffes. They're like <laughs> so tall and they're slimy, slimy blackish gray tongues. Yeah, no thanks. So my takeaway is that to make the best birthday party ever for Mia, we're gonna go to Wegmans, we're gonna eat McDonald's, <laughs> um, we're gonna have chicken tenders, um, we're gonna all listen to the Lion King soundtrack, and we're gonna see the drafts. So get ready, Mia. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. <laughs> you are you are just a delightful guest to have in bringing back painful episodes in my head. That's my Thank job. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's our show for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. So long for now. Ciao. Love you all. Thanks Adios. for listening to us. Well, that's the 34th inning, so that means the game is over. What did we learn today? The Harvard Yard Stadium has bankrupted our great city. Jay-Z might get out of the debt just so he doesn't have to be on our team. Sorry, Beyonce. Spidey is a great baseball player because he can catch flies. From all of us at the Harvard School Morning Show, have a wacky Wednesday. Please like and subscribe. Peace out. I mean, you can see, he's much, it looks, you know, he's much closer now. It's kind of hard to see like that he's, you know, <laughs> German face or whatever. Just like slowly zooming in on his eyes. I can't it's really it's pick it up. I'm, I'm baby. Right, David, you stay right there. Okay. Stay right there, David. All right. We're watching you. Hello, Paul.